fucking up. I'm disappointed in you. I can't imagine. I thought we could play Warzone together and that we could both run a scar, but you've ruined that dream. I don't think so. Testies, testies, yeah, testies, yeah, yeah. one, two, three, testies. So we're staying coming back at you. <laughs> back from our break. I'm here with and Company. We had to put his underwear in the dryer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I like how you all said that like jokingly, but we are recording now. Oh, gosh. We are recording. <laughs> yeah, we are recording now. <laughs> what part? Put your earbuds in. Uh, basically, oh. ever since I sat down. Can we, <laughs> Sadly. can we quote some lines from a few right now? <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in such a long time. Oh, look at you, Attack on Titans. Dude, oh, that's because we barely started and finished that show like a month ago. We started and finished it within the like... The last season's out? No, like what was already out. Oh, before. okay. Like, like part like... two of season four. Speaking of anime shit, so I know none of you give a fuck, so That'd the be... new season of Fortnite came out, right? Fortnite. Dog. Guess who they put... Okay, no. Goku. So, oh. no, 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 no. They already put Goku in, and yeah. they put Naruto in. Guess who they put in for the new season? Bleach. Ichigo. Deku from fucking My Hero. What? Yeah. <laughs> I was just in I was just like, yo, they, they giving anime a shot up in the video game, man. Fuck you. I don't even watch My Hero, but I was like, oh, shit, that's Deku. It's pretty decent. The new season's pretty good. Listen, yeah. man, I... You don't watch anime. How hey, long... Guys, I'm going hey. How oh, long okay, does Carter. it take for Deku to stop <laughs> fucking good. crying? Like, four episodes. Oh, it's, um... Okay, so if I get to episode five anime? and he cries... Don't quote me, I'm exaggerating. You motherfucker... Alright, anyway, 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 anyway. So Alright, anyway, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for sticking around. Uh, I had some tech, we have some technical difficulties with the first part of this episode, so the video yeah. wasn't recorded. Technical difficulties would be uh, Nathan's fucking thumb clicking the uh, appropriate button. Probably, yeah. That's, we yeah, it's my fault. My bad. <laughs> my bad, guys. Um, Just sound. Um, so yeah, if you yes. want to get the full, full, full content episode, uh, go on Spotify and all the audio will be on there. Yeah. Uh, we did the liquor <laughs> reviews, we're doing the beer reviews, and we're past all that now, and now we're... Drunk as fuck. Eh, oh. no. Are you drunk as fuck? No. No. <laughs> okay. I totally saw you Keep drinking. The, I totally saw you hit the video. What happened? I don't know what the fuck happened, dude. Um, it's it's the beeps. We can never get the beeps down. Like yeah. I don't know if it's one or two. So it's supposed to be like one beep to record, two beeps to stop. And like I heard one, but for some reason it stopped. I don't know why. It stopped after like five seconds. Is that from China? I don't, I don't know. China. Chineseium. China. It was a uh, that, that's uh, it was. investment gift into the show. Yeah, it must be. <laughs> so. Hey, Anyways, uh, we did a as a quick recap, guys. We did a review over. These liquors for a gift set, Christmas don't buy gift it. set, and they suck. Don't, don't buy, it. buy it. It's not worth 20 bucks. Unless it, you want to get, unless, I guess unless you don't really have money and you want to get shit face, I guess it'll work. But oh, yeah. We also did a review of these, uh, this variety pack of Shiner uh, Bonfire Brewskis. It has a toasted ombre lager, a uh, chocolate yeah. raspberry porter, a... Vanilla cold brew coffee ale and every single one was fucking delicious. It's not, not amber, raspberry. it's yes. amber. I said yes. amber. You said amber. Amber. Did I, I say amber? Yes, motherfucker. Amber hurt. Oh, okay, whatever. It's amber. I don't care. Fucking whore. Oh, Anyways, they were all delicious. Talking like you got a dick in your mouth. mouth. Oh. You would know. <laughs> <laughs> I would. <laughs> oh! Man. Okay. Here. Um. During our break, we were kind of talking about um, just a bunch of different shit going over the guns, because, yeah, as y'all know, kind of know. I started. Every time we go into a break or we end the episode, he starts touching guns. It's not my fault, okay? I'm a fucking gun <laughs> sexual, ammo sexual. Yes. It's, 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 a, it's, it's a hard life, okay? And I, I'm not going to lie. If I go to your house, I'm, I'm grabbing your guns. That's fine. So, you, you, know. grab my, you grab whatever gun you want. I'm, I'm grabbing guns. That's fine. Uh, anyways, um, so Brian, we, we were talking, and Brian, uh, I mentioned to Brian that how we, uh, how I have my three questions for shit hitting the fan. People, oh, yeah, people yeah, yeah, come yeah. Over. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Stanley doesn't know about this either. Uh, so my three questions is, correct me if I get this wrong, because I'm a little buzzed. Yeah. First question is, can you use a firearm, or, can you use a firearm, or do you have a firearm, or do you have your own ammo? 
if you say no. All right, next question. Do you have any medical knowledge or any survival knowledge that can benefit the group? Right. You say no. Use, Last use skills. Yeah. Last question is, do you have any like food or water supplies like that that can help benefit the group? If you say no to all three, you're fucked. Yep. I don't give a shit who you are. Yep. So, like, you, you could be my mom. Come to my house and... Hey, mijo, I, I need a place to say zombies are coming. All right, mom, answer these questions. <laughs> she, she says no to all of them. Bye, mom. No, 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 I love my mom. She does have some guns. Yeah. They do have some hunting knowledge, so well. they're they're good. <laughs> Honestly, I would probably go to their house because they have their own ranch. Well, but they're like nine hours away, so well, at least one of us loves our mom. Yeah, well, oh. you're only as good as your weakest link. True, exactly. <laughs> um, so, like, I already got a shoe in the door. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, he's already got a shoe in the door. Um, so, like. I, I've had family ask me, like, you know, they'll see all my supplies, all my stockpile of everything. Oh, when shit hits the fan, I'm going to your house. And I nope. ask them the same questions. And I, I had an aunt who said no to every single question. I'm like, well, tough titties, you're, you're fucked out of luck. I don't give a fuck if zombies eat your brain in my front porch. Tough titties are the worst. And she's like, what? Are you serious? I'm like, yes. yeah. I'm like, it, it, at, the, at that point, it's survival to fucking fit us. And if you can't help benefit us, then I don't give a fuck who you are. Do what? you think... That we could possibly be overrun by zombies, though. I don't think so. I wish. It, it depends on the zombie. The fast ones? Like it depends on the zombies. Later. Like, they get no, me. God, these, God. those are the worst. Is those he, are literally, like, I don't want those zombies. It's like rabies. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 Fuck, like, stop moving. Shit. Oh, God, Fuck. See, now, if it was, yeah, if it was, like, Dawn of the Dead type zombies. Oh, like, man. old school Dawn of the Dead type zombies. Oh, yeah. Fuck it. I have, have a field day. Have you ever heard that song, you know, Raindrops? Yeah. 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 Headphones, guns, swords, knives, whatever I can get my hands on, I'm out there skipping and marrying along because I would have a fucking blast. But yeah. you said original Donovan, not the newer one. No, the original, like the, yeah. like the 1960s yeah. like black and white one that were like yeah. super slow as shit. You can walk faster than they can move. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, me and Bree watched <laughs> that together. Yeah, I love that. Easy. I love that one. Oh, it's great. Or walking it's a great. Dead. Yes, the Walking Dead zombies are really, the only problem with them is they're just. In such massive Sense. fucking amounts, dude. Especially in the later seasons, it's like, uh, and, uh and I don't see, know if I have enough ammo for this. No, and see, that's why I, I love Grantham's video of showing you that a twenty two can pierce the skull and destroy the brain. Yes, I mean, it can. Yeah. That doesn't mean it will. But, I mean, you're also talking about zombies with, you know, decla decaying, like, flesh and... Yeah. Body parts. I mean, yeah, I guess the twenty two could do the job. Yeah, and I have a lot of twenty two. You know, what we should get we should get one of those. Okay, there's those like they're like it's a desk thing, but it's literally like a fucking it's a belt fed twenty two. It's belt fed twenty two. It's a, like a desk mount, and it's just like a fifty cal. But you just do this. You just crank but it. Then we saw that at the yeah, dude. One. It's the so dad. cool. I want one. That's if we get one, we gotta put like a centerpiece of the table. Oh fuck yeah, dude! A little Gatling. Yeah, literally, it's, it's like, like it's like a gun. fifty, but it's like a little Gatling gun. It's so. Oh, cool. I don't think the zombie apocalypse is gonna be zombies. I think it's gonna be. You remember the chickish chick with the beanie when Hillary lost to Trump? <laughs> <laughs> the that's the see. Zombie. That's even better. Yeah. Those are e those are easier to kill yeah. than zombies. Yeah, cap them with cap guns. Yeah, those are cap pop. They just they didn't go to a safe space. <laughs> dude, not even that. Dude, I have a bunch of old artillery shells from 4th of July. I just throw one of those bitches That's all them. it takes. Yeah. Drop, dude, those stop, drop, drop. And roll. Yeah. That's really what it's mm -hmm. they'll, they'll, they'll start tweeting about it. Oh my god. <laughs> the zombie apocalypse. Super. This is our trap. Well, I mean, here's the thing, right? Yeah. So if you look at, like, The Walking Dead, they passed so many, so many like military installations, right? Places with fifty cows and fucking all types of shit, and they didn't pick it, pick it up. Why? Because they didn't have any knowledge of how to use it. Guess who knows how to use it? Guess who knows how to use fucking explosives? So, I think I have a shoe in the door. Yeah, you know, there's a. I already have a couple of people already like pre-selected. Like if they came by, I ain't bothering with the questions. I already know what you can bring to the table. Yeah, come on in. Yeah. I'll see you on the camera. All right, doors open. Get your ass in. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, open the door, fucker. <laughs> so, it's yeah. cold. <laughs> it's cold outside. Oh, Shriveling up. My wiener's getting smaller by the minute. It's already <laughs> small. It's, it's getting fun size. It's fun smaller size. than fun size, buddy. Child <laughs> size. Oh. It's, not even, it's not even good enough for a child. <laughs> it's fucking oh, nasty. 
I'm talking maybe, maybe like on the smaller side of like a tic tac. Yeah, that's, that's on a good day. On like, on like a broken tic tac at the bottom of yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the one that's like you're like, eh, I mean, it's a tic tac, but I mean, do I really want to? Should I just throw it away or should I just buy another pack of tic tacs? You know, so yeah, you have to make that decision. Away. Depends where you're at financially, right? Yeah, true. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, those are my three questions for shit in the fan. People want to use my resources. And that makes a, a whole bunch of sense because, you know, you have a positive and if they don't bring any positive to it, mm-hmm. it's going to be a negative and yeah. it's going to reduce it. And, 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 and that is more of just like an initial get your ass in the door kind of thing. You can help benefit because yeah. personalities do play a lot and role in that shit. And here's the thing. That's where he has to worry about me for that because it's like I would go into Negan mode. I'm just like warlord status. If it moves, I kill it. And see, I'm kind of okay with that, as long as it benefits the group. You know, like, here's the thing, you know, if I see a person moving, hey, no, I need help, boom, oh, shit, oh, man, your fucking kidneys are hanging out, oh, it's disgusting, give me all of your shit. <laughs> yeah, and eventually, yeah, it, it would get to the point where we would have to, oh, no, that's, that's, we, we would have to scavenge from other people. It, no, it, that's, that's it, it, it'd be the whole that's the whole thing about The Walking Dead. Is it's, that it's, it's day one? No, yeah. it's day one for me. Yeah, it's day one for me. That's why I have provisions. No, because then you start stockpiling. No. Here's the thing. I I just think from the beginning, stockpiling. Okay. Well, I mean, if you're not good enough to outshoot me, well, it sucks for you. But one thing, which isn't like exactly said in The Walking Dead and all that stuff. Yeah, guns are resources, foods are resources, but I feel like the best resource is a reliable person. Negan said that. He literally said that. He was like, people are resources. He said that shit when he was talking to Rick. He's like, you know, you killed a whole bunch of my people. And, yeah. People are resources, Mm -hmm. and that shit is not cool. Well, like like Brian was saying earlier, you know, he has friends in a town that... If shit did hit the fan, they would need people there because they have more guns than there are hands to pull the trigger. Yeah. And it's kind of the same thing. If, I, but for 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 me, and my my uh, yeah, there's more guns in this room than we. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, like, something on me. Um, like for me, yeah, having a person who can pull the trigger is great and everything. But I I want a person I can turn my back to with a loaded gun and not worry right. about them shooting me in the yeah. back of the head. You know what I mean? I'd never shoot him in the back of the head. Yeah. Maybe the penis so I can, you know, take a little bit. It is a little <laughs> bit but, you know, I mean, outside of that, this fucker could trust me. Yeah. So, like, any, of you, so, any one of you could trust me. So, like, that that's my whole fucking thing. That's, like, the first three questions is, all right, cool, this person is a potential benefit to the group. Yeah. All right, you're going to be here. I'm not going to give you a loaded gun yet. You know, if you have that's your own gun, gun, cool, but you're shooting your own fucking ammo to survive and shit, you're going to... You're taking point because I'm not like getting behind. I'm not getting in front of you. I'll take point because I want to. Yeah, but I don't trust people. I know, but I take point because I want to. I trust you to have my back from the rear. Yeah, but I'm saying like if I have, like a, another person, I know. Like third party. I know. I know. I just like to flaunt see the, now. Like I just like to flaunt the fact that I'm guaranteed. Yeah. See now, like if it's me and you and like a third person we don't know coming in, I'm taking point. Yeah, you're taking point. Yeah, that that, that motherfucker says point. Sandwich is just like. Yeah. Do you want the cock? Because I'll give it to you. Pussy. <laughs> you gotta give it to you any way you want. Baby. Yeah. So like, yeah, there's a whole, there's a whole lot more to it. But that, those are always the three questions I have to ask first before anything else. If you say no to all three of those questions, then it sucks to suck, buddy. You should have fucking prepared. Right. Day zero. Answering one question is just a qualifier. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, if you if you don't know shit about guns, you have no food, no nothing, but you know how to fucking stitch a wound and know some medical shit. All right, doc, come on in. Yeah, you know you're 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 a fucking medic. You know you're. I'm gonna protect your ass because I know you can help fucking take care of everybody else. But now, if you come in as a doc and you're a fucking prick, <clears throat> I might I might blow a toe off. Gotta keep people in line. So you can survive without a couple of toes. You agree that violence is a solution. Violence is a solution to a lot of things. Yeah, I agree. There's not a, everything. There's but a, a saying, lot of things. There's a saying in the Marine Corps: "Pain retains." Yeah, pain I retains. That shit. You will fucking remember why you got this, and you will think twice before you decide to fucking make an action. 
So before you decide to fucking take whatever action you think is necessary, remember the pain you felt. Because if you don't get the fucking drop on me, and that's if you if you do somehow, some way, get the drop, there's still not a guarantee you're going to come out on top. So, just uh, be cheers. forewarned. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Oh, cheers. Oh, cheers. Oh, yeah. cheers. Those cheers beers are good. good. Trying to make sure you drank them all. Here's another thing I'm going to bring up, actually. Because most of the beers that we drink... They're all um, from Bottle. bottles. I don't normally drink canned beer. I don't because it tastes like shit. But these were all really yeah. good. And I feel like they would be significantly better if we had a 12-pack that was Bottle. in bottles. Yeah. I Does really it come in bottles, I wonder? Uh, I, didn't see it. I didn't see any in bottles. I always saw with a can. That's interesting. Shiner, possible sponsor, glass bottles. We do. Zingenbach. Zingabach is good. He loved, dude. He introduced me to Zingabach. I didn't have any shine. I was like, "Hey, bro, bring some beer." But that's when he brought Zingabach. I was like, "What the fuck is this shit?" He's like, "Fuck try it." He's like, "Fucking try it. Fucking try it." I was like, "All right, fucking." I'm like, "Bro, this shit's so good." Yeah, it it's like fucking like neck and neck. So with there's shiner. more than one way to make a black and tan. Yeah. Is a Zingabach. Yeah, Zingabach. Yeah. Oh, well, I think so it's Zingabach. So Zingabach. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, yeah. So I'm Zingenbach, it's good. Yeah, Zingenbach is good. You know, Zingenbach is a good beer. I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure it's Black and Tan. You know, with Guinness, you get a blonde Guinness, mm. regular yeah. Guinness, and mm. okay. So yeah, I brought nothing to the conversation. Oh, you're I'm good, sorry. buddy. You're good. Anything you say is valuable. Okay. Is it because I'm black? No. He's just I, I would say so. yes. <laughs> I don't give a no, 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 fuck about that. I just care about you as a person, man. He's upset that the first half wasn't on video. Oh. No, I'm, I'm happy. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, this black motherfucker. Uh, Again, guys, if, motherfucker. if you want to hear about his um, robe incident, go to Spotify. <clears throat> you know, it's crazy. They're listening to this dude and like, this white dude is saying whatever. Dude. No, okay, yeah. If... if it's crazy because like, like, like there's so many yeah. people like if you just listen to them, you automatically build like a profile of them, right. and like yeah, it, it, like like if I just heard your voice and how you talk and your mannerisms, yeah, I'm like this is like some like educated white man. You know, it's funny. I get the same thing at my job. I work for Wells Fargo. I'm a phone banker. <laughs> <clears throat> so when I talk to when I talk to people on the phone, I have a phone voice. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I see how are you? No, hi. Thank you for calling Wells Fargo. My name is Fabian. I'm on your recorded line. How can I assist you today? That's I you know how many times I've been told by multiple people. They're like, "Oh, you fucking racist motherfucker! You white motherfucker cracker bitch! You don't fucking help me because I'm fucking black or Mexican! You fucking white bitch!" And I'm just like, man. Well, fuck, that's the first time I've been told the damn fucking white shit. Where's my white privilege card? I, I'm, it ain't, it ain't coming to mail yet. yet. <laughs> shit. I'm like, where's I'm my 780 credit score? <laughs> right, where's my fucking 800 credit score? Shit, there's a... Still waiting on my black card. Right? So I, <laughs> <laughs> I just want to sound see, like see. Chef from uh, South Park. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to lay you down. <laughs> my sweet chocolate my balls. My sweet chocolate balls. <laughs> <laughs> Bowls. <laughs> Do you hear in that in the headset is just like the bass in that? It's just Nathan. Oh, uh, here's the thing. <laughs> you need to hear that. Yeah, do you I hear yourself? Give him these these headphones. Nope. Hear yourself. Now go ahead and no, say it. talk. Chocolate bowls. <laughs> oh, I'm like this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he starts his oh own God, podcast. I have to light back up because if you can run it, it's still so powerful. <laughs> wow. Make sure to drop my pants. <laughs> Don't buy that. <laughs> Drink this. <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, dude, we, we need we need creating ad with just his voice. We really do. You know, uh, it's like Duff Man from Who? The Simpsons. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Duff yeah. beer. Duff. Duff beer. Duff beer. <laughs> Yours are louder. Yours are louder. Oh, that was his. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lane four, oh, start you your know, engines. Right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, the, Dude, I heard you when you were talking about I was like, this motherfucker. That's, that's expensive. Some uh, Logitech 935, G935. Yeah, those are, those are deep. Um, yeah. 
Yeah. These are Those these can uh, can these can get up to seven point one double digital. Mm. He said seven point one seven. Not With to reference his penal. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I I have the actual extension for that. <clears throat> with the sound controls and everything, and plugged into my PC. All right, because I was thinking about getting some HyperX. HyperX is good, huh? Logitech. I've been running HyperX. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I like it. It's good. It's I've been good. running HyperX probably <laughs> close to like six years, seven years. That's a really long time. So the HyperX that my girlfriend has, the Cloud Alphas, I gave her those because those, that's what I was running before. And then I got these because we were going to start doing streaming and shit and I wanted a better headset. So um, we went ahead and got these. But no, HyperX make fucking, they make a fantastic quality fucking product, dude. Like, I haven't had any issues with these headsets. Like, it's comfortable. It just, overall, dude, just the quality of it. The thing is with like most like like <clears throat> pleather type of fucking yeah. products, they tend to wear out over time. I've had these probably over like three four years. I haven't had any issues. That's a really long time. Yeah, there's and no flaking or anything no like flaking. That. Like you know, what I'm saying like there's a little bit of wear on it, but ultimately overall, that's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, but overall, I haven't had any issues with this product. HyperX mm-hmm. sponsor them. Yeah. Right. Hey, sponsor RPGs. Sponsor blue collar shock. I need new headphones. Right. Oh. Yeah. Speaking of blue co- uh, your Twitch, you want to go ahead and throw any plugs since we're at it? Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, go visit me at twitch.com forward slash RPGs. One, two, three. We are currently streaming the new Need for Speed Unbound. It's a little bit different. It's not as realistic, but it has some cool graffiti type of shit going on. So if that's your jam, then go and watch me rage at this fucking game. Because <laughs> yeah, that's exactly say. what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> I would say. Okay, but and then after that, there, we have some other things, some other projects coming up that we want to get on. Um, or between the new, or <clears throat> it's not new, but new to me, uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales or The uh, Last of Us 2. Since I just had recently put up The Last of Us 2 prior to my whole... Uh, crusade of fucking call of duty campaigns so yeah go follow us over there we got all the socials linked and everything and then please go follow the youtube channel we're trying to grow that one day i want to be youtube kind of rich so that way i can just you know lay my balls on like a silk robe while i read a newspaper in my koenig sag you know that's just that's the dream help me achieve my dream and i will make good content for you the new ninja. And, and, and then you'll uh, you'll sell the robe with your nutsack juices on it. <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, who was that? Bella. Um, um, I know who you're talking about. Bella. Fart, exactly. With the farts. I was like, some dudes just. Or that one chick that was selling her bath water. Yeah, that, that was her. Um, oh, same girl? Feet. I think so. Farts and the bath water as well. And I'm just like, yeah. dude. I saw videos of like people making like pasta and shit with it. I'm like, really? Speaking of, like, you know, people selling, I remember... Um, Here's the thing. I don't think you were on Tumblr when it was at its peak because there are some dirty motherfuckers out there. The there were dudes buying girls, like, girls would wear, like, four, like for four or five days the same panties and then sell them to a dude for, like, three or four hundred bucks and dudes would buy them. Talk about mushrooms. Yes. Yes, they would be like, oh, I got Make these, you know, three days, that. three day worn panties. I came in them fucking four times and all this other shit. Yeah, they would, d- d- dude, there are some sick, Ugh. dirty so even motherfuckers. Sicker than that, I was drinking in a bar oh, shit. in Dallas Fort Worth ish area. And a dude at the bar was like, oh man, I gotta get out of here. I gotta deliver these socks. I go, well, what? What? And so there's like, Dudes on wine foot fetishes, yeah. and yeah. they'll buy like pictures of feet He's and yes. socks on the dudes. <clears throat> My girlfriend hey, brought that up hey, several hey, times. Speaking of foot fetishes, now I'm just kidding. Uh, God, don't do that. <laughs> merch, you know. Well, yeah, we do have our own merch. We have our own bumper stickers. Fabian has his own bumper stickers. Um, we have hoodies, shirts, shoes, or well, a pair of shoes. Some socks, some mugs, stickers, lots of stickers, actually. Actually, I need to give you a sticker before you leave. I already gave Stanley one. Mm-hmm. Did yeah. you throw it away? No, it's in my wallet. <laughs> it's in your wallet. Put you a bumper sticker in your wallet? No, no, it's like a regular sticker. It's like a little baby sticker. How do you want me? 
See, give you a little. Uh, oh, it's like those Joe Biden stickers at the gas pump. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. I did this. <laughs> those are hilarious. Yeah, they I love those. Hilarious. Oh my oh. god. Did you just throw that dude away? No, I, I halfway assume most people threw him away. <laughs> if it's in my wallet, it's gonna be there until I lose it. <laughs> when are you gonna lose your wallet? <laughs> in the Next last time I go to the club, I've lost my wallet about three times. Jesus. Yeah. Not. The last time I lost it, I you need one, one of those like motorcycle like chain bike wallet. chain things. Yeah, you need fucking just chain to the fucking belt loop. I, chain I got to the fucking for that. Yeah. I, I would got, like to see you in a chain wallet uh, come next time I see you. I got my, my tracker. Oh, you, you got... Yo, for a second, wait, I thought you were pulling out a condom. Wait, what no, is that? No, I don't. I'm <laughs> a virgin. <laughs> what, is that, what is that tracker? It's a... Hey, it's okay, a so, 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 that's the question of the episode. Do you or do you not believe Stanley is a virgin? We'll put a poll up on Twitter Duh, and Facebook. He's 28 years keys. old. He's claiming A couple to be a times. Hey, it happens to us in self. I'm now, insane. are you doing it for uh, what purposes? Um, you are know, you just, saving yourself? Is it spiritual? You know, the only Lord. person who should have me is God. <laughs> good Lord. You know, I good, need yeah, this. good Lord. You got a you got a you got a tall order to fill there, bud. It's gonna be big, I hope. Or, um, <clears throat> I mean, like you're gonna be big, or he's gonna be like big. Not he, she. Oh, because you know, God's an entity that. We don't know his gender or genders. Or but I don't know. I don't know. Sound he like, could be. It sounds like a Californian. She, she could be a trans man, or that would be he. But you're not saving yourself for that, are you? Oh yeah. I hope not. You know, because you know, you know there's no such thing as chicks with dicks. There's, there's dudes with tits. No, that is the thing, though. Chicks with dicks. Yeah. No, dude with tits. No, dude with tits. That's what it is. They shoot them up with estrogen. There's no such thing as chicks with dicks. It's dudes with tits. Actually, there is. But dudes have had tits. I'm not getting the reference. No, I get the reference, but I'm saying scientifically speaking, because Bree has told me that you can. You can. It's not common. It is very, very rare, but you can be both. Yeah, yeah, but I'm I'm trying to make a reference. I'm making a reference to a movie. What movie? I don't know. Um, Ted? I've not watched little, Ted with that. You've not seen Ted. Ted? Or, or the second little one. Little teddy bear? He's yeah. no about the Thunder Buddies. Mark. There's two. Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, there's two. Zuckerberg. What the They're fuck? They're both Jewish, right? No! no! Oh, damn. No! No. Okay. Dude, those movies are hilarious. Yeah, the Ted yeah. movies are fun. Yeah, the like second it. one where he talks about the porn thing and he was like... John, what the fuck are you doing? He was like, chicks with dicks. There's no such thing as chicks with dicks. There's dudes with tits. <laughs> Damn. He's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just delete it all. Just delete it all. He's like, no, John, no. We got to destroy this fucking laptop. And they go out and like, fucking bash a laptop with a sledgehammer. Because he has like that literally, thousands of files of porn and shit. That literally doesn't destroy anything <laughs> that can be recovered. Yeah. <laughs> but it was still funny, though. Was that a yawn that you woke up at midnight? No, I woke up at three, three thirty, three oh, something. Yeah. Yeah. Are you tired? Um, mm-hmm. a little bit. You know, I'm putting him to sleep. Not tired for y'all. You know, I'm, I'm tired for myself. You know, tired for yourself? Yeah. I, I really want to keep It'll make it easier. I mean, if I keep drinking, I'm gonna pee myself again. <laughs> yeah, I gotta take a piss also. Oh, again? Uh, Dude, all, all, he all, never all, all you have He played with your gun. Do you mean beers? Pee. I've had. I've had he lots didn't play with his gun. Plus, oh. I have a s- small bladder like a, my chihuahua. Le- like legitimately, or are you just saying that? Who me? Yes, you. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, I broke the seal. Yeah, that's ago. what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I broke the seal. Fuckers. We have a piss can right here. That's what I was saying. Can I just pee in this Allegedly. bottle? Just don't look at my penis. It has like half water. I'll drink the water. He sits and I need you don't want to pee in the fucking water. <laughs> he sits That's not good. We can take what, another break anyway. What, what was that thing that used to do, you know, back when we were like in middle school, high school, people would yell penis really loud. It's like, y'all never did that. No, no. Now they just no explain it to me. Explain it to me. It's say. like, no. you're saying penis and whoever says it the loudest wins. So you're like, penis. And Oh, I would totally win that. I oh, yeah, he, he would have fun like with that. anywhere. My, 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 whole, my whole thing was always the... I want the... you to understand something. Nothing is beyond me. I will fuck up my friends. Like, he, he might be looking at a girl at the mall, right? 
He might be like, oh, yeah, dude, that girl's so hot. I'll go and grab his hand and hold his hand and be like, look at my fucking man, bitch. He'd be like, oh, dude, what the fuck? I'm like, oh, I just dude. had to fuck with you. Dude, here's the thing. Nothing is beyond me, dude. I used to fucking, like, techno dance on random people. Like, oh. <laughs> dude, you understand. I am probably the wildest person you will ever fucking meet. I am over the top. You were in the Marines. <sighs> this was before the Marines, though. And the Marines just personified it. Hmm. You ever played Edward Forty Hands? Oh, yeah. And one? No. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I know what you're talking about, where you do the touch the and the yeah, conversation. Dude. That's the funniest shit, man. I'm telling you, man. I met dude. somebody out that did that. That was so I, funny. I, Can I, you touch this person X amount of times in X yeah. amount of minutes or seconds? Oh, I it, thought you were talking about the... No, it's board. a real yeah. thing. Yeah, but that, I'm also it's talking about so that. It's so funny. That shit's too much for me. Huh? You know, like... 240 is too much? I used to... Well, I mean... I well, well, see, here's the thing. In the Marine Corps, right? During fucking recruit training... You were only allowed to piss when the drill instructors told you you could piss. Mm. Okay, there were times where I had to piss and I held my I had to hold my piss for probably close to like two hours. Oh god, That's yeah. Awesome. And then when you piss, it's four to a it's you know, yeah no two to a pisser, four to a shitter. So if you had to piss and it's a fucking like an actual toilet, four of you would pee in the toilet. And if you're like in a regular stall, two of you would piss mm. in the stall. So two to a pisser, four to a shitter. So is that how they bring the Navy to the Marines? <laughs> yeah, basically. you know, they, they, They're trying to prepare the Marines to go and just in case. hang out with the Navy. Yeah, just in case you get put on like a view say? or something. We love we love that. What do the Marines say? We love the Navy. They give us a ride. To yeah, the they war. give us a ride everywhere we go. No. I mean, without the Navy, I mean, where the fuck yeah. are we going to go? Uh, <laughs> talk about a wild ride. Hey, they're just a really, really big Uber. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we'll get there eventually. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, since everybody's got to drain the main vein, we'll take another quick little break. And uh, I'll just pee in this bottle. We can, I have to, I don't have to slap the monkey. Don't pee in the bottle. It won't be on camera. You got to drain the main vein. I have to slap the monkey. Choke the chicken. Oh man! I gotta use my dick beaters for what they're chicken. intended for. A chicken. I gotta and tenderize the chicken. <laughs> and break. And break. All right, we'll leave that, guys. <laughs> Sorry about the, the pee thing. I really do need that's some deep shit, dude. And I don't even know what it's like to fucking walk in those fucking shoes. And I ain't trying to fucking give you some sort of pet fucking talk. But no, the no. fact that you're here, it is what it is. I mean, I don't really. And, like... and, the, and the reason I ask you how long ago that happened is that tells me that as hard as it is, you're living with it, but you're still living. Yeah. And it's good for you, man. And that ain't a sympathy fucking thing. That's that's a how do you say it? Hoorah! 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 Right. Raw fucking devil dogs. Yeah. Fucking Marine Corps, man. The fucking shit. Yeah. Hey, what military branch was it that JFK fucking put together? Because uh, he, he was... He was for, the Air Force, wasn't he? But no, did, did, well, I, first of all, I don't know what it is. That's why I asked the question. But am I accurate in my whatever it is I'm holding on to? He okay. got in. He got in to that level of government and said, "This motherfucking shit's fucked up and rigged." And did he not develop a branch of the military that he could trust? I don't or, know. Am I fucked I, up I, on that? Well, I mean, why did he put together? I, I, I think, why think, did Trump put together Space Force? Anyway, well, go ahead. Well, I think I think after <laughs> so Marines could fucking lap move to the Space Force and fuck whatever life forms we find. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> Well, I think like, it's so, all digital, though. Oh, yeah. So yeah. With, with the whole thing with uh, JFK, I think it was... I think after Lincoln died, they, they there was, like, talk about, like, a Secret Service. But then after Kennedy died, it was like, we got to have a protection mm -hmm. service for the president. That's yeah. but dedicated no, but, but, to but him. But he, he created a branch of military, supposedly, while he was that little short-term he had. Army already existed. Army existed. Yeah, Army Marine Corps already existed. existed. He, he put together Marine Corps existed. supposedly Marine Corps existed that he could trust. Marine Corps fucking constitution. Marine Corps fucking birthday is 1775. Which was 1776 was the real deal. Holy fuck. Right. Fucking Marine Corps. 1775. And guess what? Fucking Marine Corps. It's on my right. Fucking America Did declared his independence a year a later. Branch military. Quizziness? Right. I think no. not. I might be thinking about the Air Force because I thought the Marine Corps is like a branch of not so, a branch off. From so the we are a department of the Navy, yes, yes, but the Marine Corps is its own branch. Yeah. We were fucking. Do you know where the fucking Marine Corps was created? Tun Tavern. We were created in a fucking bar. We said Tons the fucking right. dude looked over at the dude. He said, "Hey man, do you want to shoot shit?" 
and get paid and work for the government. He's like, fuck and drink that. cobra like, blood. We should, <laughs> what should we fucking call it? Fuck it, we'll, we'll fucking call ourselves fucking Marines and shit. So then guess what? 1776, we declare independence. Coincidence? I think not. Well, did, did you hear about that shit? It became like a whole thing about Marines. I can't remember in what country it was. But they got, uh, they kept drinking cobra blood and shit. And like we're wiping out the fucking cobra species in this country. Was it India? Maybe. I can't remember, but like they were like it was like a thing, like a rite of passage. Like you, you want to know something? Were cool? Cutting up cobras and drinking the blood. And you want to know something cool? So it. it became like a Geneva Convention whole fucking thing. Like I am not allowed uh, to harm wildlife type shit. There's a picture of me with this Swedish family. That's in some Swedish family's home. When I graduated boot camp, right? So my family took me. So first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to eat some Mexican food, okay? Because I'm mm. I'm fucking I'm half Mexican, okay? The half of me is Mexican. Eat Mexican food too. Right. I so I graduated boot camp, and my family was like, yeah. "Where do you want to go?" I was like, "Anywhere that's Mexican food," because yeah. I'm I like the real deal. Whole I thing. need Mexican food. We were in San Diego, right? So we went and got some Mexican food, and I'm talking that plate was like fucking. It was huge. I finished that thing in thirty seconds. Oh, I'm not fucking. I'm not lying to you. I mean, that's oh, fifteen sure. seconds. I literally just should have taken <laughs> fucking. Swallow that shit. My family was barely setting their, their little napkins and pro, you know getting everything properly ready. No, I'd already done, done, dude. It's fucking crazy. But then after that, we went walking around, and there was a Swedish family. They're like, "Oh, American soldier, American soldier, so cool, so cool." You, this dude was like, "You take a you take a picture with my my wife and daughter." I'm like, "Uh, that's weird, but okay, sure, why not?" So then I. Went and took a picture. So I'm in some Swedish family's home. Their family memories where they took a picture with some random Mexican Marine. <laughs> or half Mexican Marine. American rather. Marine. American. Oh. But, you know, when it comes down to cultures, I'm, I'm half Mexican, half Filipino. So, you know, it is what it is, right? But when it comes to Filipino, what do they say about Filipinos? We're the Mexicans, Mexicans of the Asian Asia, world. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So I'm basically... We're the niggas. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've heard. <laughs> the niggas of... Art. Well, I mean, and it's like I've told him, right? When it comes down to it, you know, I have my friends that I made in the Marine Corps. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I have a bunch of fucking friends. My friend Moore, my friend Webb, fucking uh, Sampy. So, here's a little story. So, this was my birthday, like, like three years ago. This is the first. This is the first birthday party I'd ever had. I never had a birthday party as a kid. So, my girlfriend was like, "Oh, you've never had a birthday party. Let me throw you a birthday party, right?" So then she invited her friends, mm -hmm. and they didn't like the way it talked. Because my boy Sampy had called me. My boy Sampy, his birthday is like two days after me. Mm -hmm. And when I called him, I, called him, I talked to my boy Sampy. I was like, "Hey, my nigga was good. Yes. My nigga was was good, dude. I haven't yeah. talked to you in a minute. Like, you know what's up?" And they didn't like that. They're like, oh, you can't say that. You can't do that. First off, motherfucker, you don't know where the fuck I came from. You don't know how I grew up. And you don't know the people I know. That's my motherfucking nigga. I'm his nigga. Yeah. And that's my nigga. So you can be offended by so all you want. So cancel culture was happening back then. Yeah. Right? It's even been that happening. It's, it's, yeah, <laughs> right. Nothing but new under the sun. They were they were really upset because mm. I referred to That's my nigga. Yeah. And, Sampy, yeah. and it freaked my girlfriend out, too. Because I put it I put it on his page. I was like, watch. Because she's like, you can't say that. And I was like, watch. Talking to my boy Sammy, he's like, hey, what's good, nigga? I'm like, hey, nigga, what's good, boy? What was good? I so Eminem him, could say that, but yet La Rasa couldn't. I guess so. I don't know. I I'm but, just saying. You know, it's poor. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, but I feel like anyone could say that. But before you finish, can I ask, what? were they white? Who, Sampy? And no, all the people, people? girls. They were all black. They were all black. And they were all black. Interesting. Black. They were all and they, they took insults. I'm they nigga, and they call me nigga. No, I'm saying um, the people who were offended. Oh, the people who were offended. Yeah, yeah they that, were white that, as shit. They oh, grew up super fucking rich, silver spoon up their ass. That's that's what it was. Yeah. And it 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 was mind boggling because it's like you don't actually know what the fucking struggle is. I grew. I. I it's crazy to think being somebody who lives in America. I grew up. At certain, in certain portions of my life without power, without running water, without heat. I grew up without all that shit at a certain point in my life. Mm -hmm. Dude, we, just to keep our food from spoiling, I had to go down to the store every single day to buy a fucking dollar thirty nine nice. pack of ice to keep our food from spoiling. We kept it in a fucking cooler. I feel that. <laughs> we, had to, we had to do that. I feel that. 
So then these people that I came up in the court, you know, we talked about this shit. We talked about being poor. So they knew. They're like, hey, yeah, yeah. you know That's what? what you nigga, you, you grew up. Nigga, you grew up like like you know what's up. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? Nigga, we we ha- we came from the we're cut from the same cloth, nigga. Yeah. What we you, cut from the same fucking what you cloth. Experience though was uh extremely wealthy white guilt. Yeah, and which that's is and that's sand, and really. that's the part that fucking it's, it it's, gets me. Yeah. Y'all really gonna come at me no, like they that? Don't, they don't know any they yeah. don't know people that talk that yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, and it's it's mind blowing because all these motherfuckers that I came up with in the core, we every fucking even my boy uh, Seichao, he just, Asian as shit. Seichao Asian as shit, but that's my nigga. Seichao, I love that motherfucker. But we all grew up from the same. We all grew up poor as fuck. So then when we came together in in the engineer school, you know, it was just <laughs> the poor kids hung out with the poor kids. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, even in the Marine Corps, you know, we all, we all live together the same, but even still, there's still subsects. Cause I remember there was this white kid in my, um, he was in my platoon and he was talking about, oh, well, you just, you're just feeling this way cause you're resentful cause you were poor and all this shit. And man, I almost beat that motherfucker's ass. They had to stop me. But I remember it was mad crazy cause I remember this one sergeant. Motherfucker was getting med sept. Dude walked around on a cane. He was fucked up. He, that motherfucker was a war fighter. That motherfucker was a war fighter. He had white been face. through some shit. White face. And he. Uh, Where's the white? Because uh, I, I was. See it. Still oh, segue. No, I don't want to interrupt. But like, no, I was gonna say, because I think I talked to you about it earlier or during the Thanksgiving or Friendsgiving about like, which you know. About oh, doing white face, doing black I face, see. right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And all the black people are like, that's funny as shit, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But it, all the white people, and like you say, white guilt. But I see that really with white liberals, you know? Yeah. Because they have this. Well, that goes hand in hand. Um, uh, this, it's brainwashing, this, man. That's all it I guess this complex of uh, savior complex that oh, they yeah. feel like. Mm. They know best, and mm-hmm. I can't do this because they know better. And I mean, and with the whole nigga, you know, black people. There are black people who get mad with that. There's some black people who don't say nigga at all because they think mm-hmm. it's derogatory towards. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean. But I've seen it the worst with like white liberals mm-hmm. um, when it comes to stuff like that. You yeah. know, it's like, oh, you can't say that because it'll offend this. But mm-hmm. I'm black, saying it, not saying. Me being black gives yeah. me this uh, authority to say it because I, me personally, when it comes to words, I feel like anyone can say it. Yeah, there are consequences, but don't tell me that I can't say such and such. Right. To to me, it's a lot along, a lot along the lines of context. Yeah. Like like I let my older boys they cuss. I let them cuss. Especially you know, they be playing video games, we be watching TV, and I, I hear my old yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, I'm like, his yeah, that's why he I fucked your mom last week, yeah. and you little <laughs> bitch. You know, like it's not that bad, but like, like I, I hear the cuss words and shit. Like that. And to me, it's not a big deal. You're cussing in a situation, you know. You're, you're right. mad about oh, I got, I got fucking sniped from half of the field away or whatever yeah. bullshit. You know, and I told the boys, y'all can cuss, you're fine, whatever. You get mad at something, you stub your toe, you know, you get mad at something, yeah, you can cuss, fine, whatever. But if you're cussing at a person and they retaliate, you better expect it. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, there's a whole different thing between cussing at a situation and cussing at a person. Mm-hmm. You know, using terms in a derogatory sense for a situation or at a person. You know what I mean? And especially like like with Fabian's situation, it's it, it's a relationship that he's built up to where he can have that, you know, yeah. whatever vocabulary he wants to have, he can have it. But now, if you're using it in a fucked up situation to be hurtful, yeah. then, oh, that's then yeah, you that's back exactly the fuck what up. I was gonna say back the, the fuck endearment. up. It's it's a term of endearment because, all right, so being and growing up around the people that I've grown up around, because in middle school I went to Dunbar, yeah. right? Oh, Dunbar, okay. that's oh, primarily yeah. a black school. Yeah. So then, most of my friends are black. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I've always told Bree this. You know what I'm saying? The way that a person says nigga, like, you know mm-hmm. whether or not they've been around people like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like it's, that it, 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 person you were talking about earlier, that's yeah, different. Right. It's, it's. Context. 
it's it's one of those things you just you pick up on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know whether or not you somebody's nigga. One says my yeah. boy, and one is being very demeaning. Right. No. You know what I'm saying? Well, well, one right. is and hey, my boy. One is my boy. Correct. Yeah. Right. No. Exactly. Yeah, but a I'm whole saying different like thing. the yeah. people you hang around, mm. even when you say nigga, you can hear it mm. in a way that someone oh, yeah. says it. Yeah. yeah. Even if you're saying I'm saying nigga with a and when you know what I'm saying? Not hard R, but I'm saying when you say nigga, oh, okay. yeah. when you hear it, yeah. you know whether or not someone, yeah, that's that someone's story. term Sincere of Sincere or not. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. when I'm talking about my niggas, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. Th- those are my niggas for life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. No, I, I, I like, agree with that. My boy mm-hmm. Sampy, that's my nigga. Well, if something would have ever happened to him. I think that's how people viewed it before 2020 oh, yeah. or whatever well, like, it was. Well, like, 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 like for me, right. for me, example, like, you know, people I'm really close with, especially like my guy friends, I will call you a bitch constantly. Yeah. You know, like, oh, you shut up, bitch. What's up, my bitch? Yeah. What the fuck are you doing, punk ass bitch? I would say I that constantly. But, you know, we built that relationship to where, like, you know I'm not trying to be hurtful to yeah. you. It's just how okay. I'm talking. So you make that context, right? So I have a friend who lives in Australia. Yeah. Right? His name is Balil. He's, uh, he's Muslim, coincidentally. Uh, he's super fucking cool guy. Met him on Xbox Live. Coincidentally, super fucking cool dude. But every time he fucking calls me, he talks to me. He's like, "Hey, what's going on, you American cunt?" I'm like, "What's yeah. going on, you Australian prick?" If you How can you? use the c word, yeah, you're and not, right. you can use anything. But you know what I'm saying, like, right? <laughs> so context matters, right? Yeah. But here's my thing: like, I don't give a fuck what race you are. Like, mm. if you're my nigga, you're my nigga. That's that's an determined endearment for me. Like I can see yeah, more. And, and I think everybody has that way of doing it. Everybody has their own word or their own like way of saying something. And it's that's probably a word that you way grew up around. Having a term of endearment. And that's why a different word, whether yeah. it's the c the cunt or a bitch or yeah. whatever, it it's what you grew up around. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, but like, it's not that you you're not repeating something that a grandfather, great grandfather right, was fucking saying yeah. from a place of fucking like you were talking about the dude yeah. out in the fucking middle. Oh of the yeah, that back, that shit was backwoods. That shit was a like whole deliverance. Different the thing. movie that's, Deliverance. That's why I felt so familiar. Deliverance. Yeah, they can say any of those words and it's gonna be man something fucking different yeah. than when the boys you grew up with. It yeah. felt right? like it really felt like yeah. American history egg. I was like, yeah. oh, God damn, man, this <laughs> Woo! shit, man! I hope there's no fucking curbs around. Down here, man, shit! Oh, I feel all your teeth. Yeah, no, I, that shit made me uncomfortable. But the thing is, like, I've always said, like, if you get that term of endearment for me, you know, regardless of where you race, like, if I consider you one of my niggas, like, this is yeah. what it is. You one of my niggas. And Bree, she's always gotten on to me for that. Oh, you, you can't say that. You can't do that. But she's white, and I'm like, Bree, I, you have your term of endearment. Yeah. I grew up dirt poor, Bree. I grew up a I grew up around a bunch of niggas, man. Like, the niggas that I have, those are my boys. Those, those are my niggas. You know what I'm saying? Say child, he Asian as fuck. Grew up fucking... <laughs> he Asian as shit. His Asian isn't even like... He's not strictly Chinese. He's he's um, he's Mian. He's a mixture of, like, village people. Mm. His people come from, like, Cambodia and Laos. And they're, like, a mixture of people. And his people originated from China. His name Say Chow is not even real. Say Chow is not even a real name. His last name Chow, that's the original name Chow. That's a Chinese last name. Mm-hmm. That it makes Say Chow to, to, to fucking avoid persecution. So Say Chow, they had to make that. You know what I'm saying? Everything I've learned about the people that I've been around, I genuinely try to get to know people for who they are. You know, like, mm-hmm. you know, where did your family come from? You know, at the like, end who of the are day, you? At the end of the you day, know? we all grow up in tribes, and it doesn't matter what color you are. And what they don't talk about on mainstream media is amongst the black culture meaning black skin i promise you that africans are completely racist oh. against african americans i promise you it is insane dude. oh yeah dude. Okay, but so, see so, they don't talk about oh, that so, shit. Well, like, uh, I, they so, don't talk about that no go ahead go ahead, yeah. go ahead. Go, no no you go first you go first so because i'm african my parents are from kenya growing up m- my dad doesn't say african americans to mm-hmm. Black people born in America mm-hmm. generationally. It's always those black Americans don't do this. Black Americans, mm-hmm. black Americans. And you see that they differentiate between 
this and that. And mm-hmm. I guess they probably do. It's it. cultures, man. It's cultures, you know. And me personally, I don't think it's right. But, you know, growing up, you know, kind of like what you all were talking about earlier about regurgitating stuff, like mm-hmm. racism. Right. Same thing, mm-hmm. you know, me growing up. I, I wouldn't say I hated gay people, but I had a dislike of them. But it wasn't really my thoughts. I guarantee like, all of our parents, parents had an issue with. Uh, it's my that, parents. Oh yeah. Oh, wait, so you, if you yeah. want to go like that far, like like I was raised by my grandparents, especially those of you up and listen, I was raised by my grandparents. My grandparents, being as old school Hispanic as they were, they were some of the racist people I have ever met in my life. Hispanic, not Mexican. Hispanic. Yeah. And they are definitely racist because yeah. my grandma falls in. So it. so, <laughs> I remember. Dude, I remember. I think it was, it was elementary school. I can't remember what grade it was. Fourth, fifth, some shit like that. And I had my friend at school, and I didn't give a fuck who they were, what color they were, yeah. what race they were. I had my friends. They were my friends. Yeah. One of my friends came over, and I wasn't home. I was think I was with my cousin or something, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I come back home, and my grandma comes up to me. He's like, uh, mijo, like, there was a friend coming for you. He was asking for you. I was like, oh, okay. And most of this is Spanish. And I was like, oh, okay, you know, whatever. I'll see him tomorrow at school, whatever. And she's like, he's like, well, you, you know he's a negrito, right? Hmm. I'm like, yeah, and? Well, you, you're going to get in trouble if you hang out with him. I'm like, no, I'm not. Mm-hmm. I'm like, no, I'm not. He's a good kid. He has better grades than I do. Mm-hmm. Like, I cheat off of his paperwork. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, he don't cheat off of me. I cheat off of him. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, like, and like, it just, it always baffles me. I'm like, does it fucking matter that he's a negrito? Like, well, like who the fuck know. cares? Well, see, and then uh, my grandma was the same way. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, so it's taught, man. growing up, yeah. On on the street that my grandmother grew up on, you know, it was primarily you know Chicano. Yeah, it was primarily Chicano, and my grandmother, she grew up like so. (laughs) It's funny that I ended up with a white woman because (laughs) my grandmother, growing up, my grandmother was always like, "Oh, the white man's the devil. So he's the devil, and the fucking white man, the white man, the white woman, they're fucking. You know, you don't ever want to get with a white woman." Disclaimer: The elites are mainly white, and they are the fucking devil. Right. It's <laughs> much more elites. And I'm guessing you're not an elite either. It's less than zero 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 point one percent of fucking the population. Right. So my grandmother always Fuck grew up. Them. My grandmother always grew up telling me that if I ended up with a white woman, <laughs> that the white woman would be a gold digger. She would fucking want to take, 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 and do all this other shit. But the thing is, you know, as long as I've been with Brie, dude, she's done nothing but give to me. Mm-hmm. And, Imagine you know, that. here's the thing. Yeah. It's crazy because I've brought plenty of white women around. You know what I'm saying? Like, because my grandmother was so like, oh, you need to date Hispanic women. You it need to date your you own fucking opposite. race. I was like, fuck that. I'm not trying to date Hispanic women. They're too high fucking maintenance and they're mm-hmm. mostly fucking crazy. fucking crazy. And I wasn't trying I to... I married like, one. I know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know... I knew that Brie was the one when my grandmother was like, oh, I really like her, Miko. I never in my life had heard my grandmother say that she liked a woman I brought around. And all every, I had to do was get to know someone. Yeah, every fucking woman I brought around. It's that nope. fucking simple. And you know what's crazy? The minute, my, the minute Brie met my grandfather, dude, they were taking fucking tequila shots together. And I was like, this is a beautiful thing. She's one. She's one. She's taking tequila shots with my grandpa. My grandpa can, can barely speak English. He barely got his citizenship this year. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, dude. He, yeah, I was, dude, I was so happy. That shit made me fucking tear up. You know what I'm saying? My grandpa's been here a long time. At the end of the day, tyrants don't rule the masses without dividing them. Right. And that's what the, the, the playbook is old school. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and change, it's man. it's crazy, but you know what I'm saying? The, my grandma's changed her view on a bunch of things. Oh, yeah. You know well, and, and I think, like, a lot of that, like, 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 my granddad, you know, he was kind of the same. He wasn't as negatively racist. Oh, shit, man. He man. wasn't as. <laughs> he was more of a. He made my grandma. You have an opportunity, take advantage of it. Because I remember he would take me to school. Like, this was in middle school, fucking couple first years of high school. He was he would always tell me every morning, he's like, Mijo. Whatever you do, whatever you learn in school, that's good. You learn the books, but you need to learn the white man. Mm. You need to learn how they speak, how they talk, how yeah. they interact with each other. You learn their ways so you can be part of them. I was like, I was told the same thing. I was like, okay. He's like, you be part of them. You act like the white man. You talk like the white man. You be part of the white man, and you'll go much further than you will with your than your heritage ever will. Yeah. 
And I was like, okay. And it's crazy to say that because, like, growing up, dude, like, so I know not a lot of people consider graduating high school to be a giant feat. I'm only this, I was only the second person in my entire family to graduate high school. Yeah. And my family's been here for quite some time. They originated in California and made their way here, but, you know, my mom didn't graduate high school. She got her GED, but she didn't graduate high school. Neither one of my uncles got their GEDs. Yeah. My aunt, she was the first one to graduate high school. I was the second one to graduate high school. And I never understood why back then when my family made such a big deal, because growing up, I was like, okay, you graduated high school, but... Uh, dude, I'm the second person in my entire family to finish high a, school. That is a peak. Yeah. It's crazy. What you got, Stanley? It's very irrelevant, but... No, come on. Am yeah. I able to go pee? Yeah, no, <laughs> dude, go, go, go pee if you gotta go pee. <laughs> you've had, like, three pee bags. <laughs> well, yeah, go for it, bro. I'm sorry, I just... Like I said, I have to blot every child. I'm really sad I think that's actually legitimate. Hey, to piggyback on how your... Was it your grandmother? It said the white man, the white man. Uh, my granddad. My granddad. granddad. So um, I was, uh, my kids are from Ethiopia, and I was just in Maryland. That's where my ex wife had them, and now she's in Charlotte. That's a different story. But I was in Maryland, and there's a, where I was in that part of Maryland was a, a really big Ethiopian population. So I'm at a park with my kiddos, and a mom starts chatting it up. And actually, I had several moms come over to me, and they were, they were just very polite. Hell, a, a single mom. Ethiopian mom and her daughter took me and my two kids to an Ethiopian restaurant. She wouldn't let me pay for anything. We then walked the whole food. She bought desserts, wouldn't let me pay for anything. She then opens up her trunk at the end of the night and gives us all these stuffed animals and toys and shit and would not let me pay for anything. But, uh, so she had an interesting take on a lot of different things, but, uh, um, she goes out of her way to become close with white families as much as first off i've i've met a lot of ethiopians a lot of them drive for uber in the bigger cities yeah. the, the nicest people on the name planet but uh her whole deal was she wanted her kids to grow up around a lot of different yeah you know right. whatever <clears throat> but at the end of the day something about if they were just going to hang out with ethiopian the ethiopian people yeah, it becomes like an echo chamber. Yeah, mm -hmm. and but there was something about what she picked up on at an early age or, or whatever, and she wanted her kids to see it as well. Is something about I guess certain white people or whatever it, it, the the work ethic or the whatever mm -hmm. was different than, and it was just how Ethiopians are raised. Anyway, it, it everyone has their own thing, but when I heard all of that, I didn't think of it. I just thought of how we all judge and we do all of these things. And it's like, we, there are things you can pick out from everyone. Yeah, everything. Yeah. But I just learned to quit listening to my screen. This is what's real. Yeah. This, you know, anyway. Yeah. Go ahead. That, that's, that's a really good point. It makes me think about diversity. When people think of diversity they think of oh gay black this and that but like you being a white male me being a black person or black male uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, i'm just kidding <laughs> dude i got a flap for roast beef coming. but um you know even in those like we were talking look at arby's sandwich going on <laughs> hey i'll eat it um, well i'm a virgin so i don't know if that hey you that. still be a virgin if you eat it i mean my mouth wouldn't be <laughs> but, uh, like there's diversity in those groups like this person say he's black you know he could be from hood this person could be mm. from suburbs and i feel like when people mm. just label someone like that mm. they completely disregard the mm. the fact that there can be diversity see, see, in see, that well, community. here's the thing and, is diversity is built off of experiences yeah you know you know me and fabian both have like the Mexican, Hispanic, you know, I'm sure you want to get more detail than that. Yeah, we we have that. You know, that. <laughs> but his race was different than mine, you know. I and mean, we have some similarities, but we different, different kind of Mexicans. Yeah. But we did got a whole another thought. Just we were ready. <laughs> we different kind of Mexicans, you know. Like we 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 took different paths in life. We made different choices. We had different upbringings and stuff. Like Not saying that my family was like a silver spoon. You know, we were definitely fucking poor, but never. 
that fucking porous yeah. even had to go through you know we did have some times where all we ate was fucking rice and beans and <laughs> you know everybody got a heated blanket you know that didn't plug in <laughs> but you know i i'm familiar with a struggle that's separate from his struggle mm-hmm. but we both know a struggle you exactly. know what i mean and you know i've had times and i've made decisions in my life that made my struggle way fucking harder than it should have been you know and then now you no know, years later i'm pushing 30 i can bring back all those experiences and relate to like hey you know this is i've been through that and or hey i've been through this or hey i've never been through that kind of shit before but god damn that sounds like it sucks yeah like fuck i that i'm here for you bro kind of thing you know what i mean it's he's pushing 30 it, it doesn't 50 it, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, not that to, before you go into your deal. So you shared, I don't know if it was on here or not, uh, in the Marines and military, right? So I have no military background, wasn't yeah. in the military. So when you shared that story, right? Yeah. Uh, as a going a forty-seven-year-old white male in such a racist fucking country, toxic so male you, masculinity. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you, when you share that story, and this isn't you. I would be so fucking fake to say what I'm about to say. Genuinely, I saw your heart. Yeah. We you shared that story. I, when I hear him talk, and I said this the other day, we were in a break or whatever, and it's like, dude, I, <clears throat> I, I you feel your heart when you communicate. There is no color involved. There is no race yeah, involved. Exactly. There's no religion yeah, yeah. involved. There's no, dude. It, it, it's an experience. You, yeah. it, you're seeing the. You're experience. either in the moment or you're living. For someone else's bullshit, exactly. they programmed you to fucking be and no. Yeah, anyway, exactly. you, you know, you, you anyway, and when people, it's that simple. And, and for that, me, and that's what we harp on about, especially for men. You know, because I feel like we both kind of feel like men don't have the opportunity to open up their hearts to people who will be like, all right, you know, I don't see your race, I don't see your religion, I don't see your color, I don't see anything. I just and you see realize what you just said right there, there are people on our screens that say, that's just racist right there. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> we're supposed to see all of this shit. Yeah, we don't fucking yeah. see none of that shit. We just see, <laughs> oh my God, you, 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 you went through some shit. You, went, you have some struggles. Yes. You have some tribulations. You're yeah. fucking hurting right now. That should be live. Yeah. Vent that shit. Is like, the human race. Yeah. Oh, it's building. It's huh? building. I, I know right, it's anyway, building. Go ahead, yeah. it's, it's, <laughs> all right. All right, buddy. We ready for the you. The floor is yours. All right. So I've always lived my life this way. Ignorance is a choice. You, if you choose to be ignorant and not learn from other mm. people, then that's your choice. Period. But the thing is, there you can learn from anybody. You can learn something. And Google whether it's count. Whether it's somebody who grew up richer than you did mm-hmm. or grew up just as poor, if not poor. Everyone, every man, every woman has their own walk. People should go out of their way to do life with almost well, anyone. Every period. fucking person walks through life on mm-hmm. their own path. Yeah. True. And if you don't stop to listen, you can't learn mm-hmm. anything. That's true. That's just the way that I live. I want to learn from every fucking person that I can because well, there may not have. be there may you not be have. a persp- oh, that, and the thing is even going into 30 mm-hmm. I still have a lot to learn from people and I'm willing the thing is I've always been willing to sit down and listen to what you have to say because I find people absolutely fascinating whether you're black white you're a degenerate or if you're an upstanding citizen I want to hear your story and I want to hear what you have to say, and <clears throat> I want to know why you think the way you think. I want to understand what was it about your life that drove you to do the things you did or not do the things you did. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's I, I'm I'm a I'm a person who pursues education even though I'm uneducated. The mm-hmm. highest education I have is high school. I tried college, didn't. That work. just means you're not indoctrinated. And the thing is. You know, ultimately, <laughs> I feel like we all have something to learn from each other. Yeah, exactly. We just have to be willing to listen. Well, like, like I, I give, I give my wife this hell all the time, right? You know, she talks about like her past in high school, like because yeah. me and her in high school, two completely different people. Mm-hmm. Two, and I think I've told you a bit yeah. about this. You know, she, she was what I like to call a hoodlum in high school. Really I was quit. the honor roll student council chess club athlete you know what i mean i was that fucking student because that's what i was told to be but anyway mm-hmm. 
Anyway, um, that's deep, bro. But anyway, so like, I, I give I give my wife hell about that shit. You know, like, oh, you're a hoodlum, you're a hoodlum. Mm. She, she gets mad. About, oh, no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. I'm like, no, you were a hoodlum. And but I'm you still, were attracted to probably who you really are. I mean, yeah, at probably, heart. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I was, does that I, make sense? I wanted to be a fucking hoodlum. So. Yeah. yeah. It's not. Fun. But but I but I but I feared the yeah, the, the, the the bat and the yeah, belt yeah. and the yeah. ass beaten. Yeah. But anyways, you know, like everybody goes through shit. Everybody goes through shit in different ways. Everybody. You know, like, we, we've talked about this plenty of times. I, I told you, man. You know, outside of growing up poor dude, I had a mother who was addicted to fucking meth. I had her boyfriend who I had to go help do drug deals. I've had guns put in my face. I've shot at other people because it's what I was told I had to do. I've shot up other people's houses because it hurt his son or his son's friend. I had to sell drugs. I had to steal and do bad shit just to make sure that my sisters had not because I wanted to, but it's because it's what I had to do. Mm-hmm. I've done a bunch of bad shit, but it's it was for a good reason. Regardless of you know how you look at things in life, I didn't really have a lot of opportunities. You know, I've, I like I said, dude, I told you about that drug deal with my mom's boyfriend or now her now husband. Yeah, you know. Dude, I had a shotgun put in my motherfucking face, and this was with people he was dealing to his own cousins turning on him. Yeah, putting a fucking shotgun to my fucking face. I was fucking fifteen years old. Well, it's, it's, do you like, realize though that's a way more of an experience in life than someone who got a check cut for them or whatever to go to exactly. school? Exactly. Well, that's what I was gonna say. Like, and do you realize more of those people commit suicide? Yeah. Well, like I'm saying, like the, 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 the people who go through hardships the, in the matter to varying degree, you know, genuinely have more stories and more to offer to people than those who got paid to go to college, got paid for this, got paid for that, got handed shit for not doing anything. I would have rather have suffered all my teen years, which I did suffer a lot of it, most of it from my own fucking choosing. Mm -hmm. But I learned a lot from it. I learned a lot from it that now I can regurgitate it and hopefully help not only younger generations, but people in my own age be like, hey, you know, I went through this kind of shit. And they'd be like, oh, my God, I went through something similar. And then we can connect that beyond fucking race, religion, <laughs> class, whatever. We can connect from, like, oh, my God, we went through some shit together. I went through my own thing. You went through your own thing. But we both went through some shit. And, hey, you can pull your fucking heart out. You can cry. You, we can get fucked up. And you can cry and cry and cry. But, hey, I got you. We can hold each other. Do you Good. realize all people need to hear and as you just said that out loud, through all the hard shit I went through, I wish someone would have just been around saying, I can't pull you out of that. I can't pull you out of those waters, but I can just say that what you're going through right now is more normal than it's not normal. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. I, that's all really we needed to hear because this is more normal than the free ride or the whatever. Oh, yeah. I think that's rare. And then those people are beyond that's miserable rare, too rare, because rare. you know what? When you said you... You hit someone on the head, even in your walk, the athlete and the good grades on it, you you were told that that's what you had to do. It isn't necessarily who you were. Yeah. And it doesn't define you regardless of the outcome moving forward anyway. Yeah, exactly. Like, I was the, the kid you probably would have voted for being, like, leader of a company. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I was that fucking kid in school. But that's not who I am. Mm. Who I am was I like working in warehouses. I like being away yeah, from deep. customers. That's deep. I, 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 I like being out. to myself. You know, I like, I like. Okay, so my granddaddy used to always tell me, "Mijo, you got the smarts, you got the intelligence, you got the know-how to have an office job, to sit on a desk and work on a computer nine to five and make a lot of money." That's not me, Dad. I rather work with my hands. I rather be in the trenches. I rather have calluses on my hands from work and be fucking exhausted. I rather the greatest feeling I have every day is taking off my boots. I'd rather have that than sit at a fucking desk. Yeah, I can make more money, opposite, but I fucking oh, I do not want that. Don't want to be doing it. I do not want that. I fucking oh, hate that. I, I'd rather work with my hands and be physically fucking exhausted every day until I'm ready to retire than sit at a desk. I can't do it. Maybe I can't do it. Now, like, yeah, doing it for the show, going on the computer and stuff like that. That's my choice. I choose to fucking yeah. do it. I want to do it because I like making the show. Yeah. I enjoy it. Me too. But but doing it for a fucking like 
nine to five type gig, have a boss over my fucking shoulder telling me I need to get this report done. Fuck no, I don't want that. I fucking hate that shit. I rather I enjoy having the calluses on my hands. I enjoy when my little ones come up to me and they're playing with me and they rub my hands like, "Oh, daddy, your hands are so rough." I enjoy that shit. It makes me feel good. I'm like, yeah, I, daddy works with his hands. Daddy is okay to get his hands dirty. I enjoy that so much more than if I had a fucking office gig. Not not saying there's nothing wrong with that. If, you, if that's your thing, fucking go for it. Go for it. Work an office gig, answer phone calls, fucking do reports, do whatever you got to do to make your money. If that's for you, go for it. Have fun. I'll just say this to brag on myself for a second. The guy that y'all meet, what we do, how we met, I'm the same guy today as I was just a few years ago when I had anything and everything. I haven't changed a fucking bit. And even in running a fucking big real estate company, I was, I was cleaning the fucking ba- our bathroom in an office, doing shit that we could have paid someone to fucking do. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and, and all kinds of shit. What heavy lifting this and that. Right in front of like agents, real estate agents that are paid. It's like, I, yeah, dude. It's like, yeah. Like, I like, um, what is it? Um, it's a fucking actor's name. Uh, Tom Hardy. He has said, I was raised to treat the janitor with the same respect as I treat Amen. the CEO. Yeah. 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 We had the conversation we did. Yeah. I'm like, I, like, I didn't even know he said that. That's just yeah. my view in life. I told him, you know, and it's this, it goes back to the Marine Corps, you know. I've always had this view of people. I don't give a fuck whether you're the CEO or if you're the janitor. Mm-hmm. If you treat me with respect as a man, a if you treat me as a man with respect, yeah. then I will treat you with that same respect. But the minute you disrespect me, then fuck you. It doesn't matter whether you're the janitor or you're the CEO. And that goes for my job or anywhere else. Because your value of who you are as a person is what matters over a artificial construct of, you know, rank in the Marine Corps or in the military or fucking position Mm -hmm. that you are in a company. None of that matters. When it boils down to it, who are you as a person? Exactly. Yeah. I agree. Like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Either either war. If you're the CEO and you're like shit, you're a fucking prick. Fuck you. I don't give a fuck who you are. You know what I mean? But if you're a gender and... You see me walking down the hall, and you're like, dude, hey, you look like you got some sadness behind your eyes. You know, I'm, I'm here to listen to you. You know the real witchcraft, though, is when you'll go through life, and you don't even you don't even see that and hear that and feel that anymore. And that's fucking tragic. Bro, no, it's not. When What Ye is doing right now is fucking the, the ultimate fucking um, slap to this whole fucking system, man. He don't give a shit. He'll identify right now as everybody, a Nazi, a fucking Jew, a fucking black man, a this, a that, a rich, a fucking poor. He don't give a shit. I think that's the ultimate fucking, like, no. no yeah, but it doesn't matter. None of it matters. <laughs> None of it matters. None of it fucking matters. No. You're saying that, but at the same time, there's two things that differs from a normal person, not normal, an average person like us and him. One, he has the clout. Two, he has the money. And I think he generally does care about those things. He says this, but I also think he's very confused and possibly mentally ill. I mean, I'm, well, that's what the media is saying. I mean, he does suffer from bipolar disorder. Well, we don't know that. I mean, he's a lot of people do. A lot of people. Say. Well, um, Layla, I can show you pictures of two vehicles that I that I shouldn't even be here right now, and they diagnosed me as being bipolar. And I got through all of that, and I'm on this side of it, and everything truly is a heart issue. I think that I think the man has become a selfless man, honestly, and uh, I just think he's being honest. But again, I don't know. You're we only know what we see. Yeah, I feel like you know? he's definitely giving his opinion. I I can't say he's being honest, especially whenever he says Hitler was a good man. I don't think, and that's my opinion. I don't think Hitler was. A good I think person. he's fucking with people. So, yeah, I, I so I think uh, actually we don't even have to know if he's well or not well. The fact that if he truly is just going to go through life like I'm going to be who I want to be, and no one's going to put me in a box or no one's going to define me, he he's hitting that. he's hitting a grand slam is what he's basically doing, regardless of. Um, well, yeah, yeah. I, I could see that, and 
I he mean, did marry a Kardashian. He could. Yeah. He could have. He issues. put himself in a box. Yeah, he could Hopefully have. Hopefully the box was good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> actually, actually, hey, we, we, we should totally change the subject because that's not important. But I will say this: when somebody is coming out, and and uh, others start coming back, so whether they're news people or they're Hollywood or athletes or that, when they're all coming out attacking him. I would tend to go with him and not them because I believe that yeah. so he's certainly responding in a way that the masses don't like it, which yeah. says it's harmful to them. And so that I would be I, cheers to him. That's basically what I would do. I'd, I'd say they're probably looking at his followers and then also the bottom line and with all corporations. It's always bottom about bottom money. money. Yeah, you know? it's always the money. And that, with everyone, you know, if you're making a shit ton of money, you're not gonna want to bite the hand that feeds you. Yep. And I, I can't say I would, I wouldn't do the opposite, because I haven't been in that situation where I have mass amounts of capital, and, you know, I, I want to say that I speak my. Well, I don't believe in my truth, my opinion, <laughs> my truth. Y'all need to listen to my truth. But um, it, it's like one of those things. It's like I can only judge him seeing in, but I don't know the man. I don't know how he thinks. None of us do. You know exactly. I did hear an interview though where he basically said that uh, imagine being me or being a billionaire or having this much power and money and and not being allowed to think for yourself and speak for yourself. That's a choice. Yeah, he can. No, no, no. Yeah. Well, I, that, that's what I think happens with all these po- Hollywood and athletes who start the, talking like politicians. I think when they sign those endorsements, they're owned. That's a choice. Their yeah, opinion's yeah. no longer theirs. Said, well, they sign the dotted it's, line. It's, 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 like but right it's now, he's it's, making a choice to say, screw <clears throat> the money, I will speak my piece. Right. And then we're going to go, he's sick. Well, he, you know? Yeah, I'm just saying. I mean, with that, I, to me, it, I, it it boils down to your constitution because I've always said this: no matter how much money I have, whether it's two dollars or two million dollars in the bank, how I think and speak is not going to change, mm-hmm. regardless of who the fuck gives me that money. And I'm going to let them know they that sign up front. contracts. Right. The thing is, I'm going to let you know before I sign that contract. This is how I think and speak. Yeah. So either you're on board or you're not. Yeah. But because but if I you're going to give me this money, then you I need to understand. What I think is, though, you want the $2 million, you sign something, not, and then X amount of time down the road, you want to say what you want to say. But that's a choice. But that's a choice. You choose to buy into that contract. Yeah. If you're going to pay me this money, then you need to but understand where of people I'm have standing. Gone down this road, though. And, and that, that's what we're witnessing. Well, again, that's it boils that's down to the Constitution. Yeah. Your constitution. Me personally, it doesn't matter. You can hand me two million dollars and say, "I need you to say this and do this." Okay. Well, I think they well, pay you, then they blackmail you, and then they got you. Okay. Or they threaten you and your family. I think it's that deep. And you threaten me and my family, then that's a whole different story. You might want to not go I'm down. I'm just that saying, road. can you really defeat the Clintons? <laughs> <laughs> that's what you, you got to ask you, yourself. You want me to be honest? <laughs> yeah. I think Do I you could. know how many people, though, try to speak their mind and they die of suicide after being shot in the back? Yeah. I don't. <laughs> when it comes down to it, if you're threatening me and my family, I'm not going to speak my mind. I'm going to do. I'm going to do. And I promise there's not a fucking person on this earth that will go further and harder than I will. I may die doing it, but I fucking promise I am the wrong person to cross. Because I'm not that guy. I'm not that You're guy. not alone, and I honestly think this is the silent majority. And this is what we don't see on our screens. But, but that's why people like me In will never... This is why people like me will never be famous. Because I will always speak my mind. Money is... Regardless. I, you know, I've, I've always told my girlfriend, like, like, the simple fact of the matter is, unless we hit the lottery or I become famous on Twitch or whatever the fucking case is, I will always be a poor man. So as a poor man, mm-hmm. I will always speak the truth regardless of mm-hmm. what the fuck offends or doesn't offend somebody. What does or doesn't hurt somebody. What does or doesn't expose the truth. I will fucking speak to what is real. And whether or not you agree with it, that's irrelevant. Could you say that being poor 
compared to being rich based off of stuff like entertainment, mainly just entertainment, you're freer? I think, yes. I, I think either poor or rich, you have different freedoms. Yeah. No. The, I, I think you do. I, th I don't think you do because the thing is, again, it boils down to constitution. It doesn't matter whether I have – if I have $2 million in my bank, dude, I'm going to act the same fucking way because I grew up poor. It doesn't change money. It will never fucking change okay, my okay, fucking okay, concept okay, of you okay, on Okay, life. but say you spend 10 years building your Twitch channel, and after 10 years of all this hard work and all this effort, you finally start making these, start getting all these sponsors, you start cool. getting all this stuff like cool. that, and, you start, and then 20 years down the road, okay. right? You've had a whole life, you're married, you got kids, you got grandkids on the way, cool. and quality, you know, quality of life is through the roof. Okay. Comfortable happy everybody's okay. got whatever they need okay and then the sponsor's like all right we need you to ignore this subject no take the money because guess what before this i so, was poor so then your you know your wife your children your grandkids are all going to go back to them going through the same thing you went through as poor guess what i still made it they will too because i will always find a way your money that you're giving you see, doesn't where, fucking matter. But what matter. if that's where Kanye is right now, and then they are making him out to be bat, bat shit fucking crazy, but he's like, no, I'm going to speak my truth. Speak your truth. I haven't done and it all this if time. If they take away the money, then so fucking But be. who are we to judge what we're seeing, though? You see what I'm saying? How fast we fall into that. that I feel trap. like, who are we to judge? You can say that, but regardless, we as people are going to have judgment on something, whether that's it true. matters to so-and-so or... It's Even just our perspective some, and how yeah, we see it. You know, because there's some judgment I say, and yeah. I'm just like, do I really even care about that? You know? That's true. And that, I don't know. And like... Yeah. I mean, what he's saying is true. I mean, it, it depends how, how much it means to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The shit that Kanye is going through, like... You kind of put yourself in that position, bro. But at the same point in time, like, if you're going to fucking speak your truth, then stick with it. But yeah. be honest about it. You know what I'm saying? Don't just make up some fucking truth. That sounds good. Be honest. Be true to who you are. That's, again, where it boils down to constitution. I will never fucking stray from who I am, regardless of money. Yeah. Because when it comes down to it, it doesn't matter how much money I had, I can't take it with me. That's what true. matters is my, it, what matters is the shit that I spoke, the truth that I spoke to the end. And if I stuck with that, then that's the fucking truth. That's my truth. That's the ultimate truth. What I'm speaking to you fucking matters. Okay? It doesn't matter what you fucking think. Because that's that's who I'm sticking to as who I am as a person. On a deep level, the whole Kanye thing could just be one more thing to keep us all distracted. It could all be it bullshit. Definitely not not just so you know. You know, because what, what was that big... Uh, Cryptocurrency exchange. Yeah, FSX, FX, FTX. FTX, yeah. whatever they're yeah, scam. They were talking about that. It definitely was a scam. You could say a oh, lot of it? these exchanges are scams. All of them are, I think. But at the same time, when you think about Bitcoin itself, um, or just cryptocurrencies, you know, because with the dollar, it's a fiat currency. But all of those things are backed by fiat currencies, you know? Yeah. I don't know. I'm going everywhere with this. You're good. You're good. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, yeah, we've been going at this for this whole episode's going to be like three hours. Oh, gosh. A little over. So <laughs> I'm going to break this up into a little segment, guys. Uh, probably like two. And we're going to start wrapping it up. You want to go ahead and throw in your plug one more time? Yes, please. Go follow us over at twitch.com forward slash RPGs123. If you want to go and see me rage at Need for Speed Unbound. And, um, you know, if you guys want to go and interact and have real-life conversations with a Twitch streamer who doesn't give a fuck about the algorithm or really anything at all, come by and have a conversation because I would like to conversate with you. <laughs> <laughs> and Stanley will be there in a row. Right? Yeah. Sober Stan, come at you. <laughs> Smash that follow button. Come see me naked. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll sign an OnlyFans, dude. Everybody we have on, we talk about making them an OnlyFans. Only fans, yeah. Dude, we, we need to start like a, like a conglomerate of like making people's OnlyFans. You know, I want to make them out. I want to bring something up, right? Okay, so me and Bree, me and Bree had a conversation last night, right? So I'm sitting there playing Need for Speed. I'm just kind of grinding off stream so that way I can have a little bit more money and a better car. 
And Bree just out of nowhere, she's like, Fabian. I'm like, what? She's like, what's Brazzers? I was like, oh, what? I was movie. like, are you watching porn? Are you in there flicking the bean? You could have just told me. And she was like, no, 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 no. I, I saw this TikTok. This, this dude bought his mom a Brazzers hat. And didn't tell her what it was, so she went around wearing a Brazzers hat. <laughs> so she told me, she goes, what's Brazzers? I was like, it's paid porn. She goes, like, OnlyFans? I was it's like, no, now. no, 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 no. It's, it's, really a, it's a corporation thing. I was like, you know, like, Naughty America Bang and Bros. stuff like that. Bang, Bang Bros. You know, like, oh, my God, what are, you, what are you doing, step bro? You know, the yeah. whole fucking thing. And, and she was all like, she was like, oh, my God, how do you know this? I was like, well... See, I had a life before you <laughs> that involved lots of loneliness and excessive amounts of porn. But yeah, so I just I had to bring that up, dude. I just and I thought it was hilarious when she asked me that. I was like, "What the fuck? How do you not know what Brazzers is?" It did. And is that not the, a common the, thing? The, the, the so best good? way I can explain it. Is that not a common thing the, for the, women? The, no. The, the, uh, what do you mean? Uh? Here's my take on it. That's how you know she's been sheltered. Yeah. Oh, well, fair enough. Okay, fair enough. For certain things. Because I was sheltered, but I definitely knew about... Well, you're a guy. That's kind of... This is kind of different. The internet as a kid. Because, you, know, <laughs> you know, I have teenage boys who have cell phones. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. x vids. No, nah, what the fuck? Wait, wait, wait. Especially when... X-N-X-X. Especially when, you know... Especially when they go... Not even close. Yeah, well, like you got X Vids, you got Pornhub, yeah. you got fucking X and XX, you got X Amster. Yeah, well, like, don't ask how I know all these porn sites off like the top. X, 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 <laughs> but they used to have the same format as X videos. Well, so, 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 so here's where I'm at. I got teenage boys now. Okay. And yeah, sometimes they take forever in the fucking restroom, and I'm like, God, I need to take a fucking shower. I need to take a shit. And I'm like, or piss. I was a teenage boy at one time. I'm just gonna, I'll be alright. I can hold it. I can, I can do some maximum whatever. And then Maxim. they finally get out. Like, God damn, it's fucking fun. I'll be fucking cleaned up after some fucking <laughs> shit. But yeah, yeah, yeah run yeah, in the yeah. shower for like five minutes. Make sure all the fucking semen's off the floor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, got, I, got, I, got, I got teenage boys, okay, with cell phones. <laughs> you might get pregnant. We have Wi-Fi here, this motherfucker. So yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, totally off fucking subject as <laughs> always. Uh, make sure you guys follow us on Twitter. I've been a lot more active on fucking Twitter. Um, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, YouTube, Spotify, all that shit. You know, all y'all are on that already. Links to everything is going to be down below. I wish you still had your channel up so I can link you. For the record, I got kicked I off mean, of Twitter. Uh, get kicked off of Twitter? For a post that had uh, this in the sentence. Hillary and something about COVID. And I was blasted. Wait, was this like prior to Elon Musk this was, buying uh, it? So I, I signed up for Twitter back in 2009, we'll say. Oh, never wow. used it. Gee. No, never used it. And then it was going on the election yeah. for Trump to win in 2000, oh, whatever was it? You're good now. No, nope. yeah. yeah, 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 no follower. No, no, I still, uh, Elon hasn't let me back on. But uh, anyway, I went up to like 6,000, 6,000, <laughs> whatever you call it. And yeah, the retweets uh, and then really I had to, it had to do with Hillary and COVID and I was blasted off. And I reached out and talked to somebody and they said, you can't come back. <laughs> wow, that's fucking crazy. Yeah. I, I still technically do have those uh, handles. You I do? just don't use them. Should oh, for like Sober Stan, for like Twitch, them. YouTube. Sober Stan. I actually used to have this Facebook. Well, I mean, technically. See, no, y'all two need to do a stream together then. I, um, I have a Whites for Trump. Uh, Whites for Trump. <laughs> for, uh, on Facebook. <laughs> no, I, I kid you not. I, I'm going to re download. Facebook reactivate the whites for Trump. I'm gonna send you a picture. I had at least like probably like two or three thousand people and not God even damn. engaging, mostly white males, and they all were like, "Yeah, whites." You know what I mean? So you totally created that. But as a um, that spoof, it was a, it was a joke. It was a joke. They also did uh, a page called White Republicans, and I'm thinking. I might do a white for the Santas. You should. And just in case, I mean, I assume most of the people here are awake and not, not necessarily woke. 
<laughs> yeah. I'm woke. Uh, uh, I hope surprised. everyone knows, and if you don't, you can go research this. It's not going to be at the top of the Google search, but uh, the creators of BLM were actually your white elites. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Well, one of the fucking heads bought like 10 fucking houses in the Beverly oh, Hills. But anyway, that's a whole other fucking subject, guys. <laughs> we'll we be back next week for that. We'll, we'll get off topic, as always. Um, and again, don't buy this. Yeah, that was just so, Buy this. So, where to go? So, <laughs> this. Uh, yeah. Bur- Thanks for coming out. The uh, Burskis, Burskers, whatever fucking. Those bonfire Brewskis. Yeah, that yes. sucks. Uh, Bonfire brewskis are the fucking goat. They're the Bees. shit. They're the bomb. Yeah, they can be home for the street lights. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Again, guys, um, check us all out and all the socials. Everything's been linked down below. Uh, merch is. Also down below, use promo code. What did we decide again? Blue uh, Bla- X- uh, Blue Xmas. Blue Xmas. Uh, you, you put it as Blue Xmas with an E. Did I? X M E S is what you put on the phone. I have to check it. You, you're gonna have to check it. Correct it, possibly. Probably have to correct it. Uh, once I correct it, guys, it'll be down below. Uh, so the merch store is down there. Fabian Switch is down there. Our YouTube, Spotify, whatever. If you're watching on YouTube. Spotify's on there. If you're, if you're listening on Spotify, YouTube's on there. All that shit. Uh, Twitch, all that shit is on there. Your Facebook, yep. social, all that shit. If you're watching on Twitch, go fucking subscribe to this fucking YouTube. If you're fucking subscribed on YouTube, go and follow the Twitch. Exactly. All that shit, guys. And if y'all like having Brian and uh, Stanley on, let us know and you might have them on. If y'all don't like them, let me know too, but I'll make sure they'll never run them. <laughs> <laughs> y'all suck! <laughs> don't forget... Like you said, buy that merch. Buy Socks merch. for your cocks. Foot fetishes. <laughs> Get you a mug. We got Get bumper some stickers. Some shoes. Tux. Stickers. All sorts of shit, guys. I don't know. I might come out with a bento oh, box, too. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, guys. We'll see you guys again next time. And uh, as always, make love loudly and make war silently. Ooh. See you guys. So will somebody actually watch all three hours of that? Yeah, probably. <laughs>